of symmetry. And basically, the test for this, which is in your notes, which you guys are provided, is to basically um, be able to determine f with negative x. So what you're going to do to determine if something is, at, is even or odd is just evaluate for f of negative x. So when I evaluate f of negative x, negative, negative um, number raised to an odd power is always going to be negative. So that's negative x cubed times 4, which is a negative 4x cubed. 2 times negative x is a negative 2x. I can factor out the negative. You don't have to. But you'll see why I'm doing that in just a second. OK, so if you have f of negative x and you get back the original function, then the graph is said to be even. If you plug in f of negative x and you get opposite of f of x, then the function is odd. So when I plugged in the negative x and I simplified it, did I get back the original function? No, it's multiplied by a negative. Did I get back the opposite of the original function? Yes. So this is an example of an odd function. And why does that work? Well, let's look at an odd function. Let's look at the cubic function. That is odd. That is reflective about the y-axis. Let's pretend x is right here, like x is 2 or something. right? Well, when you go over to negative 2, when you plug in negative 2, you guys can see like you're getting the opposite value, right? If this is x, this would be f of x. Well, now when you plug in negative 2, what do you get? Negative f of x. You guys see how that kind of works, right? So that's why that works. So when you plug in a negative number, you should get the negative of the function. 